Well, okay, everybody, today I'm going to show something just very quick, maybe take a couple of minutes to show how to do some really nice quick color correction and stuff in uh, Adobe Photoshop using the layers. And there are, once again, a thousand ways you can edit colors. And I've watched people go through this, some, some incredible tutorials that show a lot of detail. But in the real world, you're editing photos very fast and quick and on the fly. And sometimes you don't have a whole lot of time to do a 15 steps to get your color correction just right. So this is kind of a fast and dirty, but very effective way that I've uh, edited photos for many years just using the layer function. So what I have here is a photo taken at South Mountain State Park. I shot back, I don't know, three years or so ago. And I shot it with, a, I think, a Sony Alpha 100 camera. And, you know, it didn't have the best dynamic range on it. And I shoot a lot in automatic mode. I shoot in automatic mode rather than mess around with the settings a whole lot because I know it's, it's a safe mode to shoot in. I know I can always go back and work with what I shoot in automatic. Uh, it's almost, it'll let the camera just choose everything. I can go back and Photoshop and I can do about anything I care to do with it and make a nice looking photo. So this photo is very washed out. You can see there's a lot of light up in here. It just... Um, uh, it's not capturing the color of what was there, but the color is really there. We just need to bring it out. So I'm going to go over here to where the layers are, and I'm going to make two copies of this layer. And of course, you take this background layer here. I pull it onto this little thing here beside the trash right here, this little icon. That is the uh, copy. So I'm going to copy it again. So now I have two copies of it. The reason I'm copying it twice is so we can look at a before and after later. I'm going to go ahead and turn this back, the final back one off there. And I'm going to turn the one, uh, the layer, the, turn a little eyeball off here. I'm going to turn off this other copy right here, the top layer. And I'm seeing the one that's in the middle. And this is the one I'm going to edit. So the thing that really bothers me mostly about this picture is how light everything is up here. How it's so washed out the way I shot it. But I know there is color there. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to go to Image, Adjust. And I'm going to do Brightness Contrast. And this Brightness Contrast, I'm using the CS5. I think they've maybe improved Brightness Contrast a lot since CS4. Or maybe it was 3. And so now your brightness contrast doesn't blow whites and stuff out. I'm going to do something kind of unorthodox here. I'm going to take the brightness all the way back pretty good way, probably, gee, 60, 70%. Okay. So that's looking very dark. And so, but, you know, hang on. We've got a layer on top of this too. So now I'm going to uh, bump the contrast up a little. And look at that. Maybe not quite so high with the brightness, about like that right there. I bumped the contrast up so we've got a lot of deep colors up in here in the top. I'm going to say, okay. Now let's let's uh, still on this middle layer that's very dark. Now I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go now I'm going to go to image, adjust, and we're going to go to uh, hue saturation. Now let's go ahead and saturate that a bit. Let's bring some color out. So now I start to see these pop. It's starting by about 41 percent, and I'm starting to see a lot of pops in the green up here. Maybe it gone a little too far. That's pretty good. About 39 percent looks pretty good. I'm going to say okay. Now on top of this, if I turn this eyeball back on over here, I've got the uh, first layer. And so we can see uh, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to erase uh, the top layer off uh, and reveal that darkness that's underneath. So I'm going to click back on background copy the top layer. I'm, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get the eraser tool. And I've already got a very big brush here set, uh, 1399. So I might go smaller than that. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and leave it around 1400. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to race off the top that's so light. Let's go ahead and just do this right here. So now all, all of a sudden we've got a lot of drama there that's come into this picture. Now the foreground, of course, is still a little light to me, and, and, but I don't really think it's too light. And on this one, I'm going to go Image, Adjust, Brightness, Contrast. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to mess with the brightness on this one. I'm just going to mess with the contrast. So I bump that contrast up a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty nice. I don't even know if I'll do anything with hue saturation. Uh, image adjust. You could go to vibrance just a little bit. The vibrance is slightly different than hue saturation. I'm going to knock it just a little bit there, about 11%. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, uh, since I have both of these on, I've got the background off, I'm going to go ahead and merge. I'm going to say uh, right here where this, where this little uh, pull down is right here above the 100%. And I'm going to say uh, merge visible. So it took those two layers that I've been working with, not the background original layer, and it combined those two layers together. Now I can go up under Filter and I can pick uh, Unsharp Mask. So I'm going to say Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And uh, typically for an image this big, I like about 80% at 2 pixels. It just depends. You can try different things. You can go to 1 pixel, 60% or 100%. 
that seems to work really good on these kind of forestry type deep dp images like that so i'm gonna say okay so now uh you know i got a before after i'll turn the background on we'll turn the top off this is what i started with this is what i end with start and finish and once again this uh second image here really seems to capture the uh the look of the woods and if i want to make it even a little bit more dramatic i might go over here and get a hold of the uh I might go ahead and get a hold of the burn tool, which I do have selected already. And I might pick uh, mid-tones. I'm going to get a much smaller uh, brush than that. About 70. Yeah, let's go about 900. Okay. And uh, exposure 25%. So I'm going to burn a little bit around the edges here. And all I'm doing is I'm just making it a little darker around the corners. And that kind of gives it that deep woodsy kind of color there. So now I've got the, the uh, light coming in, this yellowish light coming in from this angle, and it's illuminating this area. And it goes from being kind of a very flat, dull-looking photo that doesn't look like it's got any color at all to a photo that's really pretty deep and lush. So that's one of my little tricks with uh, layers. Of course, I could throw this layer over here away now if I want to. And I could do a Save As, and I've got uh, uh, a, um, I've still got my original version where if I want to go back and edit it differently later, I can do that. Or I've got this one. This is probably the one I'll forward on for a, a little calendar uh, project I'm working on. So thanks. Hopefully this helps. A quick way that you can do this. It works really great for portraits. I'll probably do a separate video that shows how to do portraits with this.